So this next video tutorial is for anyone who does want to get a bit more into code or check out the backend code of what Adobe Muse actually does, or if they wanted to edit anything in their website after they've created their Adobe Muse website, if they wanted to edit the code. Uh, it also demystifies Adobe, Adobe Muse a little bit so you can see uh, exactly what Adobe Muse is doing and what it's outputting. So if I go to my Adobe Muse website, I have this website here, this uh, website from Muse Themes. It's a template from Muse Themes. And if I preview the, the website in the uh, excuse me, the website in the browser, we can preview the website. Okay, and here's the website. Uh, it's a very nice template. We can see it has different factors, has an about page, some sliders, uh, just very nice design. And let's say you know we had finished our website and uh, we've been working with our website and yeah we like the way it looks and there's just something that we wanted to do with it in code uh, we could simply export this website as HTML rather than uploading it to our web server first we can export it as HTML and preview the site locally on our computer uh, so to do that um, and this can be useful yeah let's say you did just want to view the website locally first before you made it go live um, and just wanted to see the website outside of Adobe Muse. Um, it could have a different, a few different uses, but uh, in, in any case, I'll show you how to do that. So to export your website as HTML, you simply go to File, Export as HTML, and then we'll just click OK here. And then here it says this site will now link to your Typekit account. Uh, Typekit is included with your Creative Cloud plan. Uh, it's just a little pop-up here. Uh, if you don't want to show this again, you simply click here, uh, but I'll click Next. And then here you can type anything for the URL. I just do like uh, yeah www.test.com, and then the location. Uh, you can select the location uh, for this uh, this website. So I've clicked on a few folders here. I'm going to click on new folder, and I'm going to create a new folder called test. Very good. Now we're in the test folder, and I'm going to select choose. And so now we, the site URL is www.test.com. Uh, don't worry if this isn't uh, pertained to your particular site or if it does. Uh, either way, it's not live on the web server, so it's not going to make a big difference uh, what this name is. And then we have the location, and that's great. So now I'll click OK. And we're exporting the website. and it's going through all the pages and exporting all the pages. Okay, very good. And sometimes you'll get warnings, which is kind of good to know uh, if you're designing your website and you want to see if there's any warnings before you make it go live on the web server. So now I'll click OK uh, to uh, in that dialog box. And now if I browse to that folder that I've created called test, uh, I have it right here. If I double click, uh, we can see the different pages of the website and the different folders. Now, this is kind of demystifying Adobe Muse uh, a, a, quite a bit uh, because if if you've ever designed a website with code, this will look very familiar uh, to you. Uh, a lot of times when designing a website uh, strictly with code, you will have a scripts folder, you'll have a CSS folder, you'll have an images folder, um, and then you might have an assets folder. Uh, and if you're working with adaptive de design, you'll have a phone folder, and then you'll have all the different pages of your website. So as you can see, um, if you've worked with code before, this will look very familiar to you. Like uh, Adobe Muse isn't doing anything uh, out of the that's not been done before. They're just making e making it easier to design a website without code, but it outputs the same thing as if you were designing a website with code. Uh, so we have our different pages here. We have our sitemap as well. Uh, our images, uh, our CSS, our styling for the different pages, our scripts, very nice, and assets, different assets there, and all and everything else. So if you know, let's say I click on index.html, which is the home page, uh, it'll just take me to the home page, and it'll link to all the other pages of my website. Very good, and that goes to a portfolio there. So we'll just leave that. Uh, just loads a little bit. Very nice. So as we can see, it's the template we've been working with. Uh, we were just working with in Adobe Muse. And so let's say you did want to edit something in the code. Uh, you simply open up your code editor. So I use Atom here as my code editor. 
and I can simply drag and drop this index.html file and I can see all the code for this website. Uh, so if you're familiar with code, uh, this will look familiar to you. Um, and I could even change some of the text in the code and anything. I could change any of the code here if if, if I wanted to. And uh, but you know you you probably want to know what you're doing before you kind of go ahead and and mess with any of, of this code, uh, as it could break your website if you do change anything here. Uh, but you can change the styling. Um, you can change the text. Uh, you know I could change some of the text here. Uh, let's see. So. Let me just change something here. Uh, so here we can accommodate large groups. So I'll say, I've just changed the text. <laughs> um, so if we go in here, where it says we can accommodate large groups and ensure you get the perfect look, whatever the occasion. Uh, now I've saved this uh, this this page and I've done that with Command S or I've done, uh, you can go to File, Save. And now if I refresh this page, it says here I've just changed the text. So as you can see, uh, you can definitely work with the code in Adobe Muse. It does output code uh, just like any other website and it follows the W3C best website practices, which makes Adobe Muse really great. And the developers are, all, are always working on Adobe Muse and constantly updating it to make sure uh, it meets the best website uh, requirements uh, from W3C. Uh, so that's pretty much it with getting into the code of Adobe Muse. Uh, you have your scripts, your, your CSS, your styling, your head tags, footer, and everything else. And your div classes and all everything else, excuse me, yet all the other things that go into the code of a website. Um, and again, if you've worked with code, this will look familiar to you. Uh, if not, this, this might just be kind of demystifying Adobe Muse for you just so you know what is actually going on behind the scenes. Very good. So I'll just scroll back to the top here. And yeah, very good. So that's it for this video. And uh, yeah, over here to the left too, we, we can access all the other pages and all the other elements uh, within this website. Very good. Yeah, so that's it for this video tutorial. And I'll see you in the next video tutorial.